Good morning, 6th grade. I'm sorry I cannot be there with you today. As promised, you do get to start your unit on animation. Remember last week we looked at the thermotropes and the whole idea of persistence of vision. So that even if more than one picture is being shown or two pictures are being shown really close together, our eyes tell us that it's just one image and that's how we get animation. We also talked about frames. Remember way back when Walt Disney drew everything, him and his, his creators, they drew each frame individually. And the way these frames were sped up or that they were made able to see all of this is through speed. We talked about frames per second. If I had a camera and took pictures of all of you, maybe doing jumping jacks, and I took 10 pictures in a second, and then I did another one where I took 30 pictures in a second, we decided that the motion would be smoother for the ones that had 30 pictures in a second because more actions happening in the same period of time. After this little mini lesson, you're gonna get the opportunity to come into this and create your own animation. So we all know I like purple. So I'm gonna come down here where we can pick a color and I'm gonna pick purple. And then right here, you'll notice it says frames and we can use up to 40. So I'm gonna click frame one and the color purple and choose my brush size. And sometimes it acts a little funny on my computer. You probably won't have as many problems. There we go. So I'm on frame one and I just click clicking the screen until that other stuff went away. On frame one, it's a dark gray. I got my purple, got my brush size, and I'm just gonna make a ball, like we're gonna drop a ball. Fabulous. Now if I click on frame two, notice frame one went away. But I needed to see where frame one is, so I'm gonna show previous frame. Now I'm on frame one. So when I click on frame two, notice it's kind of grayed out, so I can see where my ball is on frame one, even though I'm on frame two. So then I could draw another ball. Now I'm gonna want these to touch so that I've got that persistence where it's falling. I can also go to frame three. Notice frame one went away and I can still see frame two. But if I'm at frame two, I can copy this frame now see how it changed to paste right here? So it said copy, I clicked it, now it says paste. I click on frame three, I say paste. <gasps> what happened? It's the exact same frame. So what I can do is if I had the same action maybe, or if I just wanted to add to the action, see how I added that? I could do that. But that's not really what I want, so I'm gonna clear the frame or undo. Okay, so I undo, so it's grayed out again, so I know I'm back on frame three. I can see frame two, and now I'm gonna draw another ball. Frame four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay. Now, what happens when I play these? There's a play button down here. So I'm gonna click play and watch what happens with my little balls. See how it looks like it's falling? So ball may not be the right word. It almost looks like a boulder because it's not perfectly round. So we've got those 10 frames falling, right? I can tell it to loop and it's gonna do the same thing over and over. And it's just gonna keep on doing it. And that's it, that's basic animation. We've got 10 frames playing. So I'm gonna stop this, go back into drawing mode, click draw. Now see how I clicked on it and I got this box around it? I can move it around now. A little different. So if I'm gonna exit this, we did those 10, we saw what happened with those. Let me get a exit here. You know what? Let's undo. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back onto frame 10. There's nothing really on frame nine. This is where 
frame 8 ends, frame 9, frame 10 brings me back to a blank canvas. So let's do something a little different. My clicker's not working real well. Oh, I was in select mode. I need to be in drawing mode. So if I go back into drawing mode, and we're going to change it to a green ball now. Now if I copy this, I'm on frame 10, if I copy this frame, I go to frame 11 and I paste it, and I go from drawing mode to select mode, see how I've got this little guy around it? So now I'm using the exact same, I copied, I'm going back to the next frame, I'm going to paste it, I'm using the exact same frame, the exact same shape, so this is going to make it a little cleaner, a little nicer. So let's copy this frame, go to 13, it's next, paste it. I'm in select mode still, I can see that here. I'm just going to drag this down a little. Copy the frame, go to the next one, paste the frame, and drag it down a little bit. Copy the frame, go to the next one, paste it. And I can keep doing this. And look how this is going to be different. So here's the first one, the purple, right? Now you see how the green is a lot more clear? Keep watching this. The green is so much clearer because I used the same frame and copied it, so it's the exact same shape. And it does look a little more like a ball falling. Okay? So that's frames. And the important part about this particular software is you want to click that show previous frame so you can see what happened before. You want to use the copy frame if you're doing something like a ball. And be sure you're in the right mode if you're trying to draw. And then you can always tell it to play. Once you're done, we're going to save the animation. And it tells you that it's saving it. And remember, yours is going to look a little different than mine. My computer is a little different than yours. It does take a minute, so we don't want to wait till the last 30 seconds of class to try to do this. With all of you saving at the same time, it will take a little while. So we're going to let that finish saving. And then we're going to save it to our, our student drive so that we can have all of these later. Now you can open it tomorrow to work on it. So today, you're just, we're going to tell it okay. Today I want you to just do some very basic animation. Notice it saves in that .gif file. This is important. We're going to talk about that tomorrow. Don't change that. Just leave that .gif. Put that in your student drive. Like I said, it looks different than mine. And we're going to review these later on in the week. Today, you can do a ball falling. If you really want to really go and try to go to head, maybe you can get the ball to fall and then bounce back up. Maybe you get a ball to fall straight or something to zoom across. Um, I was thinking it would be fun to maybe have a basketball goal or a soccer goal and get that ball moving towards the goal. It's a, a lot like we saw the beginning of action when we worked on thermotropes last week, all right? You guys have a great day, and I'll see you later in the week.